Okay, well here we are on the uh, modifications for the uh, Gibson Les Paul 2018 uh, HP high performance uh, Les Paul. Yeah, HP2 by the way. So the pickups in it are very toppy and I'd expect to get that really because the fact is that they are wound very differently than, than pickups like these for example. And you'll find that one coil is wound very light and the other one is wound normally. But what also happens is that you get the capacitance, because there's a variance in the windings, being reduced. And because it's reduced, you get a more trebly tone. Not for me, thanks. Uh, so I decided, uh, as part of the upgrades that we're, we're looking at, is to buy a, a set of these. These are... Seymour Duncans as you can see and what does it say about them? Uh, shop floor custom pickup it says there actually that's the set hot rodded humbucker set yeah, what it comprises of is a Jeff Beck for the bridge and uh, a Jazz for the neck and uh, that's very useful because that gets rid of all that flubbiness that you get uh, typically when you drive, uh, drive an amp hard and uh, use this neck pickup. So, so that's why I chose these. I've used these before and these for me are a great set of pickups. So bear that in mind guys. Real nice set. There's the number. If you can see it, you might be able to see it. There you go. Yeah, that's the set I've got. And that's about as near as we're going to be able to get on there. Okay, so there they are. Of course there's a problem because when we try and fit these into uh, a Gibson Les Paul HP2. <clears throat> well, let's have a look at these. Let's pull one out. Look at what the problem is. Well, the first problem is... Which one's this one? This one's the bridge, as you can see down there. What you can immediately see, compared to a real Gibson pickup, that the legs are actually very short. Uh, yeah, you can see it there. In fact, they're half the length they should be. Can you see that? And that becomes important later uh, when we're trying to fit these pickups into the HP. So you need longer legs. Well, what was my answer? Well, my answer to that was to buy a back plate. Now, you get these plates in different uh, types. You can get brass ones. You can get them like this one. This is nickel. And you can get, well, they're not chrome, but they're sort of steel, just run-of-the-mill steel. These ones actually, as it turns out, are a bit tough, might not be the best choice, uh, so maybe you might look at uh, the brass ones, for example. What they'll do for me, and they'll do for the exercise, because I'm going to show you how to use these and make these, make these work in the HP. So what you're able to do is to buy two of these, and I'm not sure how much you can see there, but everything lines up. Which means that I can take one of these, I can take this Seymour one off, and I can screw that one on. Yeah, all good so far. But of course, that's only half the problem. Because on a HP pickup, they're mounted in a completely different way than a regular Gibson pickup like this. You know, with the two screws from above. This on the top, you get the idea. Yeah, they're not mounted like that at all. They're actually mounted with these legs bent in, with the correct depth, which we've talked about. And uh, yeah, no easy answer for that, or is it? Well, actually, there is. <laughs> and there's the answer, right there. So what you're able to do is to take one of these and turn it into one of these. Now, it's not entirely as straightforward as you might think. And the reason is, remember I talked about this material being, you can get it made of brass. Well, brass will bend pretty much easier than this, so that's why I'm talking about brass. Because what happens on this type of material that's nickel plated, is when you bend it over, it puts a very nice crack all the way down, down this edge. Let me see if I can uh, get a bit closer on the camera and show you the problem. Yeah, I think you can see from there that there's a crack across here. 
And if I was to bend my backwards and forwards, maybe even twice, it'll snap off. But that's not the answer. You don't want it to snap off or it would be useless to you because this is exactly how it's got to look. It's got to look like that, but it's got to have these two here so they're not going to fall off because if they do, your pickup will fall out. How bad is that? And by the way, uh, this pickup is actually pressed from underneath on this plate with springs. So these need to be reasonably strong. So hey Tony, what's the answer? Well, you couldn't use them like this. Now, I mean, they look great, but trust me, if I just bend them, they'll snap off. They are that loose. So in fact, the last part of uh, bending these, I actually just did in my hand. So they're that loose. Well, let me show you how to bend them first of all, because if you don't know how to bend them, you'll never get to the point that we're gonna do next. Well, hey, what does Tony do? Well, I'll show you. Now you could go and get some heat across the back of this and then bend them. Well, what did I do? Well, I did it the easy way. Yeah, you just get one of these and you can uh, just put it there like so and just simply bend it. And you'll find right now I can feel it going slack. As you can see it's sort of half bent. I can go a bit further. But it's bending along the line that was already there. You can see if you look carefully. The line that was there is actually going soft and it's going doing that on both sides. So you bend it very carefully now. Real, you can see I just bend it with my hand really easily. Just to where it needs to be. No more, no less. And you can see that's now on a perfect bend for what we need. See that? But leaving it as it is isn't good enough. And we'll come back to that. Now we're going to do the same with this side. This other side. Just take your wrench. No, not your wench. Your wrench. <laughs> Tighten her up. And just bend it round. Honestly, it's that easy. Once it starts to go, you'll feel it uh, go big time. And from that point on, you've just got to go very, very carefully. I do that by hand now. See that? So it's getting weaker and weaker and weaker. You just bend it so it's square. Get this one so it's square. You need them square. Now you can see I've got two sets which are all ready to be fitted to the pickup. I can screw that base off. Screw this base on. Oops, when I get it the right way around. As you will see. And then it's going to fit the guitar. But we've still got that problem, haven't we? So what's the answer? Well, the answer as it happens is actually very, very simple. What you need is one of them big, powerful soldering irons. And what you're going to do you're going to solder along the inside edge in that corner down there and you're going to solder along the outside edge and trust me it will work you've got to have an iron hot enough to do it when you've soldered both sides this is not going to break it'll be really pretty strong in fact it will be more strong than we need for the job we're going to be doing so i'm going to go and do that now and i'll show you the results when i've done it now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do one of these. Well, one of the things I do is take a big chunk of solder, because it's fine solder I use, and wrap it round like until you got this. I also use a great big fat gun like this one. Oh well, I don't know how many watts it is, but uh, yeah, it's pretty powerful. It says here uh, 100 VA, whatever that is. Who cares? Point is, here it is. We've got these two edges. Now you've got to get this iron really hot before you go anywhere. You can see it's beginning to steam. Well, maybe you can or you can't, but trust me, it is. So what we want is we want some solder on that. And then what you do is you go along this edge really, really, very carefully. And you find it will stick in a, in a row, which is like that. You can see that. And we do the same to the other side. 
just to get it just nice. We do the same to this side. So we've got a solder cover all the way across just like I've shown you. Now keep your finger on the iron, load some more solder up. What you want to do, you just want to go inside here. It's not going to be easy to show you but I'm just going to do it. Hope that you can see. You go down that inside edge with solder just in the same way as you did on the outside edge. When you've finished it, you, sh you can see that, or you should be able to see, that it's got a continuous flowed line across it. See that? Blow it a little. Let it cool down and let's just do the other side. So we did that one. And it can get a bit warm, so just be careful, won't you? You want it down in that edge. All the way across. Nothing struggling there, it's all pretty simple. There it is, if you can see that. Okay. And that's the soldering of the uh, plate. Yeah, I really want to get across to you. You can see the end has been soldered across. And underneath, if you can get to see in there, if you can't. Yeah, you can just about see it. It's been soldered across underneath on both of those ends. Actually, and these are not really, really, really tight. They're just as if, well, actually, they've never been converted. We've now got a plate that's twice the depth of the one that's fitted. And the legs now point inwards instead of outwards. Perfect. Trust me, perfect. That's exactly what you need. Uh, to get these pickups working uh, as we need them in a HP and these are really great pickups so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to swap this plate over for this other plate and I'll keep the spare plates by the way in case you ever want to get rid of the guitar you can put the originals back in I've got a fix for this as well coming up part of the video so I'm just going to fit that on there now and uh, I'll see you in a moment all you need is a screwdriver oh just before I do go one thing to note, on these pickups, uh, I think these are both set at, uh, there's a couple of widths. There's a 50 and a 52, and I, I think these are 52s. Both of these pickups are set to 52 on this width. There's two sizes, like I said. Uh, you'll need to check your pickups to see exactly what width you need. They might be different on yours for each one. On this one, both of these are the same. Although I did buy two spare ones, <laughs> just to be sure, as you should indeed. They're only two or three pounds or three or four dollars a piece. To fit these, of course, uh, you've got to take out these screws first. Those four there, slide the plates off, slide the other one on, where you go. You will notice as you're doing this that the wire that comes off when you take the base plate off is actually soldered to the plate down there. You can have to unsolder that and resolder it to the newer plate okay well that wasn't too hard was it <laughs> it might have been to you but uh, it's not too hard for me let's put it that way and there's the uh, Seymour Duncan Jetbeck pickup I've marked it because on the original it's on the plate you could move the sticker over but I'll leave it as it is in case I ever want to fit these back and sell the pickups but it's highly unlikely in my case so there it is fitted underneath, uh, the Seymour Duncan Jeff Beck. It's got its mounting lugs, it's all really tough, and that's ready to screw, almost right, ready to screw straight in. We've got to contend with this at the end, but uh, I've got a fix for that as well. And uh, I'm just going to go and do this other pickup now, and uh, fit the back plate to that one, and then we can move forward. I've got wax all over the table, the wife will go mad. Oh, sorry, she already is mad. <laughs> Now I marked this one up, uh, Seymour Duncan, Jeff Beck Neck, because, uh, sorry, Seymour Duncan, Jazz Neck, I'm getting confused, I'm to the age. <laughs> anyway, there's the other plate, uh, and I'll be keeping this plate as a spare for when uh, I ever take these pickups out, assuming I ever do, I probably won't, because these are really great pickups. And there's, there's the thing put back together, 
you have to uh, peel this off around the edge. It's not rocket science. You have to unscrew those screws there. You undo your four screws and the thing will come off carefully. And then you've got that other bit of soldering to do that I showed you for the ground. But apart from that, actually this isn't too difficult to do. And uh, of course once they're in, in the guitar they'll be all good on rock and roll. Uh, I'm absolutely sure of that. So what's next? Well we've got to do these wires next. I'm going to show you how to do that. Yeah, because I'm like that. A nice guy. Oh, look at all this wax everywhere. <laughs> you think it's bad there, it's everywhere else too. Oh my god. I'll be back. Oh, and by the way, I will be fitting uh, some of these on the guitar so it looks more like a Les Paul. Some guys have said, oh, I like them on, I don't like them off, or I don't like this, or I don't like that. I even considered putting a gold cover on these and putting gold surrounds on and things like that, but it's too much trouble. So I'll be using these, uh, these type, and you can see that it's actually bowed for the top of the guitar. And that's an important thing to find when you're getting these metal types. Now just before I do go and do something else, uh, I just want to talk a little bit more about the pickup. Instead of making these as I did, it's not really that hard, and uh, when you've got them, you've got them. You could actually screw the ones off the bottom of the Gibson pickups, but don't forget they've got surrounds on them, and you've got to desolder those tags from the sides first. Then you could actually screw them off, and screw them onto uh, pickups that are compatible. And, and one, of, one of the reasons I did this was that there are a number of sizes, as I said earlier, 50 and 52 mil. I think they're 49.76 or something like that on the really old design. Uh, but on these, there's usually uh, one or two, 50 and 52 millimeters, that is. On this one, I think they're both 52s. Uh, I'm pretty sure they are. Uh, because they're the same, it makes everything easier for me. Uh, what are the Gibsons? I really don't know, but I'll be able, by doing this, to take the Gibson pickups out, save them, and just slot them back in any time I want to just do that. And uh, that, in my opinion, uh, you know, for the cost of the 10 or 12 pounds or 15 or 20 dollars in total, what are you messing up? Uh, it's really the right way to do things. And if ever you want these to go back, like I said before, We've got the original plates that we can uh, we can refit for all the guitars. It all makes sense to me. It might not to you. <laughs> now then, what have we got here? Well, actually, what we've got is two little kits. They're both the same for converting these wires into what's uh, seen as those little uh, plasticky type organ types. You've seen them. And on a HP, that's what they are. In fact, on all of the Gibsons now, that's what they are. You, you can buy these little kits. Quite nice, these are. Uh, you just solder your ends on, and it shows you which colour to solder where, which I think is a, a great idea. You get the shrink stuff, and you can put the stuff over your uh, overall job when it's done. They'll be just as if they were Gibson, which uh, really saves a lot of time, because you've got no faffing around trying to figure out what these are. And you've got no faff, well you've got no faffing around at all, it's all there, it's all raring to go. So I'm going to go and fit one and then I'll show you uh, the net result of that. Uh, yeah, should be good. And if you've got excessive wire, you could, actually, you could poke it up inside the guitar somewhere. It won't make much difference, I don't think. And hey presto, there's the first uh, joint done. No, no, that's sort of joint. <laughs> the first connector's done. And uh, we'll be able to slip the bridge straight in and uh, connect it. How simple is that? I'm going to go and do the other one. I'll be back. Here's a quick shot of the uh, the neck one. All raring to go. We can fold the wire out of the way if we need to. I don't like to cut the wire down myself. I don't know. Anyway, that's it now. So what I'm going to do now is take the other pickups out of the guitar. Exciting, huh? Hold on. Now then, it's not over yet even though you might think so. I've got here the uh, the jazz neck pickup that we're gonna slap into there and there's only one problem. The problem's very simple really. The screw holes are actually a different size. Okay so what you've got to do scarily, <laughs> not that scarily, is you've actually got to drill these out and tap them to the correct size 
And what size is it? Well, I don't know yet, but I'll let you know in a minute. For you, it will be instant. For me, it will be 10 minutes while I drill them out and tap them. Yeah, sounds like a plan. I could have taken them off the other pickup, them base plates. I could have done that, as you can see. But, well, to be honest, I fancied doing it so that uh, I've got spares and all the rest of it. But you can see again, once again, how theirs are fitted. They're the same drop that I have within nothing, give or take. It won't make much difference because they're all going to fit in there with plenty of spare room. Yeah. So hold on while I go and find out what the threads are. <laughs> it's one thing or another, right? It's not that hard though. You just have to persevere a little. Okay, well now as a reference point uh, for the drilling of these two holes. Got a little wand out, I think. Yeah, there they are. If you used to take a fender Yeah, a fender screw, it's the same thread as that one. I think it's probably an American fine or AF or U UNF or something like that. In England, it's been converted to millimetres, which is something I don't particularly like. I come from the feet inches like everyone else, in the real world that is. So, it's worth noting that you can actually get these screws for fenders. If you look at this one carefully, see if I can zoom in a bit. It's worth noting that you can see on the end of this one that it's a self-threading screw. So if you're having trouble getting taps and dies, what you need to do is to drill that hole the correct size as if this was a tap. And then just screw it in and it works fine. And that's exactly what I did because I couldn't find any taps and dies today. Yeah, that's a plan. In any case, let's get back to the... Uh, the job in hand of fitting these into here. Now I'm going, just going to go and do them because you can see me screw two screws in a pickup, can't you? Yeah, you know how to do that. So I'll go and do it and then we'll come back and take a look at uh, what we've got so far. Well, here we go. Scarily, they're fitted. <laughs> how odd was that? Well, actually, it wasn't. Now, if you look at these, this one's high, of course, it would be, it's at the back, and this one's low, of course, it would be at the front. But the point is this, when I take one of these, there's a chrome one out there that has the bend on, like I showed before, you can just screw that on. And it'll fit absolutely perfect. But scarily, unlike what most people will tell you, you can take the uh, neck one and you can just fit that too <laughs> there are no mods because when you fit this type of pickup it's sort of it hasn't got that cover on and when it hasn't got the cover on I hate to say it but it fits perfect and if you really want to be power drunk when you fit these you can put two little screws in them I'd just glue them in if it was me <laughs> uh, just so it looks like a Quote, real Les Paul, <laughs> a stupid word. Uh, but there it is, and uh, that'll be the next thing I'm going to do, is fit these two pickup rings. And then uh, some of the guys on there that were getting a bit iffy about, you're talking about pickup rings, you, you're this, you're that. No, I'm not. I'm not anything. I'm just doing this to show people how they can do it or can't do it. But there it is. Uh, I'm going to show you in the back now so you can get a quick view of the wiring that I didn't have to mod at all once I'd fitted the little converters on. Yeah. Now it is a bit dark in there, I must admit. But uh, if you look careful, there's one of the wires that I did. And there's the other one down there. And you can see you go onto their little connectors very nicely. And any excess wire I just pushed up in, back into the hole that's actually there. Right there. Now do remember when you're going to fit these uh, surrounds, if you are, some people might not. You do need to get them straight, else they're going to look stupid. And you can be guided with that. If you look from above, I can see the surround of the wood, where it used to be, well where it is really, and you can sort of just uh, line it up like so, and then drill your holes. Yeah. And that's about it. So I'm going to go and drill these 
I'm going to fit the other one down there and drill those and then we'll come back and take a look at what I did and well you've seen screws before haven't you but do get them on straight won't you <laughs> purely as a reference before I actually drilled this we sort of just held the surround in place uh, on three sides with a bit of masking tape it helps just a Tony tip and there's the first one in place solid as a rock now you can put two little screws in there and just glue them in so that people can't tell this or can't tell that I might just do that actually yeah, why not but I'm going to fit this other one first well as you can see they're fitted so far I'm going to get the little screws and now just put them in there so they look real <laughs> want of a better word and uh, yeah it's all going to be rock and roll it's just a question of screwing back together so we've got a few little tony tips here to go on with as you do all this stuff in case you've never done it before and all you know it all's out there remember this there are loads of people that have never done anything like this in their lives even if they've been a guitarist for 20 years someone so the tricks and tips are simple really align this properly and this one properly well this one's got a really good reference and it's called the neck <laughs> so you've just got the sideways on that one this one's a little bit harder but if you look through the hole around the edges you can actually see where the wood is so it's uh, it's not too difficult to line up either it's important that you use the correct size drill for the screws you've got now I can't give you a, a, a drill size because my screws here might be different than yours but always make sure that you go deep enough because if you don't what happens is these screws will bind and either snap off <laughs> you don't want that trust me they will either snap off or they'll just bind and won't tighten anymore or you'll round the heads off or something like that those are the things you've got to really be careful of and it, the same applies to this one and also bear in mind that when I found these two uh, covers or surrounds uh, these were shaped to the to the shape of the uh, top of the West Paul which I think uh, matters especially when you're putting metal ones on like these that that actually suit the guitar because if you look at everything else on this thing it's all metal it's all chromed and what have you those are chrome as it happens but you know most of the stuff on here is chrome it all looks good I've also adjusted the pickups up a little bit so that they're just about well where they should be really uh, it's all going to be rock and roll this is so I'm going to go and fit those four screws and I'll just let you have a, a quick look when I've done that oops I've been and looked well scarily <laughs> I haven't got any screws of the right type or size for there uh, so I'm not going to fit them for now I'll just fit them some other time but you can go and glue some in anytime you want same as I will and uh, yeah so we'll leave it to that for now and even in the I guess in the playing it's still going to be no screws so people will be wondering how they float in the air <laughs> it's magic uh, I'm going to restrain it and put the uh, the uh, bridge back on and all the rest so I'll be back so there it is uh, one Gibson Les Paul HP uh, fitted with really good pickups well in my opinion they might not be in yours you still got all the switching you still got all this stuff going on Remember, this is a Jeff Beck, Seymour Duncan Jeff Beck, and this one down here is a Seymour Duncan Jazz, which works really nice. Um, the great thing about this guitar that I like is how well this pickup ring fitted once you fit a set of pickups that don't have the cover. Now, clearly, if they had the cover, I'd have been grinding down the edge of this, this thing on the inside to make it all fit. But by using uh, pickups like this uh, that don't actually have the, the cover yeah it's a perfect fit don't let anybody tell you it can't be done or it's not this or it's not that you go it's all over the forums that nobody had the answers particularly uh, well they didn't have answers like this did <laughs> so uh, as far as I'm concerned there's the answer uh, it's in black and white so to speak well for color <laughs> and uh, what more can I say yeah well maybe the HP's are worth a bit more money now right <laughs> I'm sure they are well there you have it what do you think of the owl by the way there he is awesome Evil Owl Studios 
it's, it's, it's an awesome thing. It, it's as evil as I am, right? <laughs> and the thing is, I've got a car registration, EV11 Owl. And if you look at it while I drive past, it says Evil Owl. It's, she's pretty cool. It's almost as cool as the guitar is. And even though I haven't got screws that purportedly all the pickups adjustment there, <laughs> it doesn't matter. So there it is. There's not much more I can say. It's about as, uh, well, it's as about as good as Gibson would do, I guess. <laughs> pickups fit in place really well. No messing with any of them. Uh, yeah, it's all good, that is. Now you're going to hear it next. Any last tips before we go and hear it and then I go away? <laughs> well, not really, except the one thing is, when you're buying these surrounds, there's so many junky ones on the internet. I mean, I get most of my stuff from eBay. I don't like Amazon much at all, really. I don't think they're any better at all. Uh, so I, I tend to go on eBay and I, I was going to fit gold ones. I've got dirt on the bottom of that one. I've got to clean it. It won't, it won't be the same ones. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I did have gold ones. I was going to fit gold ones and gold, uh, you know, Gibson gold covers on the top of these, which I, I could do. I could still do that, of course. But, uh, well, gold and silver. Uh, Pure S can get away with it, why can't I? <laughs> well, I decided in the end to keep it pretty much stock and as standard as I want it to be. It's like, now it's like a, it's like a Les Paul that is HP. You can change the pickups if you really want to. And don't forget, you can use the plates off the old ones. They just screw off. That's an easy enough job. That's not rocket science either. Uh, so you could use those plates. I just wanted to keep the pickups original, so if I ever sell it, well, it's got surrounds on it, but to be honest, I don't think I'll ever take these pickups out, because for me, they're really good. They sound really good. You're going to hear it anyway. That's it for now. Website's uh, getting updated very slowly. You won't notice much at first, because I'm doing looking in the background of it. I've been on it actually for nearly 30 hours now. And you can't see any difference as far as a user's concerned. What well, you can as far as Google's concerned. Yeah, it takes such a long time. But this will be reviewed on there. The guitar will be reviewed on there. This, they're all going to be added as we go. And, uh, you know, I'm starting to push more back uh, to the website a little, I think, rather than uh, neglecting my own stuff for somebody that doesn't give a monkey's about anything except money. Oh, you know, that is, yeah, you know them too. So, till next time, come on, listen to the play that's coming up now. Uh, that should be interesting. Well, it's not great playing. Or really, it might be. Depends what mood I'm in. Uh, but it, it'll all be there, rocking and rolling, and uh, now you know how to do the pickups. Oh, it's too much trouble. Oh, so are you. <laughs> See you next time. I'll get out of here. Okay, some examples of some of the, uh, the tones that you can get out of this beast. No, not Alan, the guitar. <laughs>